Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick overview on my first 3D printed electric ducted fan. Currently we're sitting at 70 millimeters and everything here is printed out of either PLA or in the fan's case PLA plus, which is slightly stronger. And I wanted to make this video to go over the manufacturing techniques I have used for this, especially the ones with the fans. I've actually toyed around with 3D printed EDFs in the past, but I was finding that my use of the 3D printers really limited my ability to print complex fans. I was forced to either print these very simple rectangular profiles, which don't have a lot of potential thrust-wise, or I had to use supports for more complex prints, which caused the bottom surfaces of the fan to be incredibly irregular, leading to imbalances and a ton of performance loss. I also was struggling to get a small fan duct gap. You can see that most of my designs had upwards of a couple millimeters of fan gap, which basically makes the duct useless. So my first major breakthrough was printing the fan in two components. You can see I split my SOLIDWORKS design right in half, which allows me to have a top and bottom component of the fan that I can lay flat on the printer bed. This eliminates the use of supports, and while I was a little nervous about the overhang, they actually turned out really well. You can see that all the surfaces are a lot smoother than the supported surfaces I was printing before, which is a pretty basic concept in terms of FDM 3D printing. I assembled the fans by lightly sanding the surfaces for better adhesion. I printed these studs that line up the top and bottom components, and I super glued everything together. I had some pretty tight tolerances, which really helped me get a precise mate with the help of this hammer. Um, I should probably invest in a rubber mallet. But anyway, I made sure to glue the blade surfaces well together, since these are the things incurring a lot of aerodynamic forces when spinning. And so I taped each blade individually and let the super glue cure for a good bit. And the final result is pretty good. Definitely leagues better than my previous fan blades. Right now I'm running a 0.12 mil layer height, and you can kind of see that in these close-up shots. I'm hoping to get an even smaller layer height for more smooth surfaces in the future. The airfoil cross-sections also came out pretty nice, which is obviously critical for this fan blade. And so to get a good fan gap, I actually oversized the fan blades so that they initially had a bit of rub against the duct. I then ran the blades in the ducts for a couple minutes and the friction wore down both PLA components until the fan rotated freely. You can see the, the results in this close-up. I ended up being super happy with the fan duct gap that I was able to achieve. And in total, the fan and the nose assembly came out at 11 grams. I also redesigned the duct from what I've been doing with my old EDFs. You can see that the motor mounts in the old one took up a lot of the exhaust area, which limits the stability and energy of the flow as it's being sped up by the fan. My new design uses only two motor mounts instead of four that are taller than the previous ones, which connects to a sleeve for the motor in the middle. This effectively cuts the air blockages by half. I forgot to include a slot for the wires in my first one. You can see me soldering, using a soldering iron to kind of cut out my first design, and I ended up just printing another one. I was able to get away with zero infill for this, which is super helpful if I wanted to make something airworthy. So I did an initial run, hitting almost 50 grams of thrust at 30% throttle. This is a homemade thrust lever arm that I overviewed in an earlier video. It's actually pretty low considering I've hit that number at the same throttle in previous designs, but I attribute this to a pretty fat fan for now. I then printed a thrust tube with an exit area of around 90% of the duct's exit area. The idea of this is to focus and stabilize the flow as it leaves the duct. I also printed this intake, which eliminated the perpendicular surfaces of the duct and allows for a smoother air pull into the fan. This project was truly a test of the printer's overhang ability. So these actually made the performance considerably worse. I noticed a ton of flow reversal, which is obviously the worst case scenario in a fan. And I attribute this to a poorly researched thrust tube design. I was hitting less than 30 grams at the same throttle I was before. But I'm still very excited about this. I think I finally got a decent platform with a ton of testing potential. Now that I've settled into a much more improved manufacturing process, I can start testing a bunch of different fan, inlet, and exhaust configurations. Um, if you guys have any pointers for this type of stuff, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna be stuck here printing a bunch of thrust tubes and testing until I find one that doesn't reverse the flow and actually improves performance. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and for following along.